Stephanie and Pete were really concerned about the cake not being dwarfed by the reception site. So we decided to pull out all the stops for them and we're gonna make a five tier. That's the biggest cake that we make. Okay, so we officially have a blizzard. Whether or not her guests get there, we're gonna get the cake there. Are we stuck? Mm-hmm. Careful on the snow. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> yeah, tell. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Hi, good. You must yourself. be Stephanie. Yeah. I'm Robin. Nice to meet nice you. To I'm Robin meet you. And Pete. Pete, nice to meet good you. to meet you. Our wedding reception is going to be held at the Landmark Center in St. Paul. It's a historical building right downtown on uh, on an elegant park as well. So we were wondering if we could do like a, a gold cake to match the inside of the landmark. Of course. And these are the invitations. These are your invites. Mm -hmm. Here's a picture of our centerpiece. Here's our flowers with purple orchids, deep purple calla lilies, white roses. Mm -hmm. and then just an accent of the deep red because of the way we got engaged. What? Explain. <laughs> I pull up to the driveway and starting from outside of the house is all these like piles of red, deep red rose petals. So I open the door. He had roses sitting on a little desk and it said, sit here. She's shaking even right. telling us the story. That is so cool. I, I got down on one knee and opened up a ring pop. I love that you did a candy ring. That just kills me. And then I pulled out this. Okay. Afterwards. Okay. <laughs> He's leaving me hanging one. and then he gets down on one knee and pulls out the second ring box. It's gorgeous. Yes. <laughs> it worked out pretty well. She said yes. I am in love with your centerpieces. So I'm thinking we'll do branches and cover them with, um, Rock candy. So this whole thing is just gonna be lit up and sparkling. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He summed it up. You got it. It's like a winter wonderland. Yeah. I love it. Only other thing I was thinking of, I think it would be neat to make deep red uh, oh. frosting rose, red, rose petals and let them just hit the edges so it's kind of like going up well, the stairs. That would be gorgeous. Oh, that would be gorgeous. I love that. That ties in the proposal and everything. It's okay, like, when a guy does something that sweet, we need to let it known. I will sketch this up, but I'll email it to you and let me know if there's any tweaks that you want to make to it, but I'll get you a colored version via email. She is way over the top, exceeded our expectations. That is going to be a heck of a cake, I think. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. <laughs> oh my gosh. Stephanie and Peter are a really nice couple. They're really excited about their wedding. She had all of her stuff planned out. She just gave me so many great things to borrow from for the cake. And fortunately, they all went together so well that their cake designed itself. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my gosh, you would not believe what Robin has put together for us. This is absolutely incredible. It's perfect. It's tall. It has the gold shimmer. It's the dream cake. Our family's going to freak out. Gorgeous. OK, I met with Pete and Stephanie, and they're at the Landmark Center. And so we drew a monster cake. Cool. So we get to do five tiers, <laughs> so this is gonna be gorgeous. Stephanie and Pete were really concerned about the cake not being dwarfed by the reception site, so we decided to pull out all the stops for them and we're gonna make a five tier. That's the biggest cake that we make. These are our centerpieces and got all the crystals on the branches and so we're gonna copy our centerpieces with the branches here. Cool. And so I'm gonna have you make branches okay. and then we're going to crystallize them with rock candy. I thought we'd just have like pieces and parts of rock candy like stuck okay. on the cake. Jenna is awesome with sculpting things with clay guns and uh, and making little details. I'm gonna make her do all the branches. I'll work on the orchids. Right. She is carrying some oh, okay. red roses because he proposed, get your cuteness ready. He proposed by leading her into their house with a trail of red rose petals. Aww. Oh, that's sweet. Super cute. He's a good boy. So we're going <laughs> to put those on the ledges and so it looks like okay. a trail of red that's cute. rose petals. That'll be great. OK, so you guys have your assignments. If you choose to accept them. I don't think we really have a choice. That's a good point. I'll make branches for eight hours. Yes, yes, you will. She'll make rose petals for eight and a half. Oh, Ready? Branch, Ready? Even take race. Longer. We'll race. OK, get to work. Sweet. 
right now I'm making the branches for the gold cake, and I'm making them by just rolling out the brown fondant and then cutting slits into it um, to make it look kind of like a branch and making it wavy. This is the branch. And then after we let these set up, brush corn syrup on them and then sprinkle them with rock candy um, so that they look kind of wintry and crystallized. They're matching the bride's centerpieces that she has at her actual wedding. Making the orchids, we, then I put it on a piece of foam and I roll it out with what we call a ball tool so that it curves the right direction. Once we get done with that, I have a veiner that was cast off an actual flower and that makes the veins in the flowers. This is the base part of the, the orchid and then later we'll add um, their little throats and mouths and things. Orchids look like little faces to me, so. So then this gets imprinted and then we wanna dry it so that it dries on a convex curve. I actually just airbrushing and making all the rose petals for the gold cake. Couldn't get this color with the fondant, so what we did is we just made red rose petals and then airbrushed them with a mixture of petal and luster dust. So we're just gonna put them all on the cake when we get there then. Well, Jenna already made the beautiful, beautiful branches and then we also have the orchid's already made at this point, so probably gonna get airbrushed and then just making the cake and putting it all together. The bride actually asked me if I could match the color on their invitations. We make a, a taupe base that looks goldish, but then we have these powders that we get from England that are metallic gold and metallic silver, and if you mix the two together, it makes this perfect color of their invitation. So once we cover the cakes with fondant on this and make it look exactly like the paper from their invitation. We are covered. Okay, so let's get the tears airbrushed. So if you wanna set up the airbrush, I'll mix the powders with the vodka so that we get that color. This is a combination of powdered metallic silver color and powdered gold metallic color. We mix it with vodka. Ah, ah, there. Once it gets on the cake, the vodka evaporates, and when the vodka evaporates, it leaves behind the powder. I want this to be really shiny for them. I want to definitely make sure that we're showcasing that these are three-dimensional. Mm -hmm. Kind of like picking and choosing and putting a puzzle together that doesn't really have a right answer. And be sure to leave it slightly up, because we're going to put rose petals down here anyway. How many did you a lot for each Yeah, tier? how many do I get? It's different for every tier. There's 55 of them, so I guess you get 11. Wow. I get a lot. That's um, just finishing touch? Yes. Oh. I just want to see. I can't wait until it's Saturday. <laughs> oh, look how pretty that's gonna be. There are two kinds of cakes. There are ones that, like, the whole way through, you're like, this is gonna be awesome, this is gonna be awesome, this is amazing. And then there's ones that they're kind of the sleepers. You put them in the fridge and, eh. And then you get to the wedding and you stack them and they're like, oh my god, these are amazing. And go down a little bit. Ooh. Yeah, oh, <laughs> that's gonna be gorgeous. Okay, awesome. I feel so much better. Yeah, good. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so we officially have a blizzard, not just a snowstorm. So um, I've called Brian in, and he's gonna drive for me. Okay. Because I'm a good cake decorator. I'm a crappy driver. On that happy note, let's double this let's cake. Let's double this cake, man. <laughs> I've talked to the planner for Stephanie's cake, and um, the guests will probably be late okay. because it's off-site, but it's a wedding, so they can't reschedule. So we're going. Since it's actually snowing, yeah. all of the accessory pans need to be wrapped completely. We put them in your car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you spin that you around? Get your car started. OK, uh, my keys are in the coat pocket in the office. We're about to leave to deliver Stephanie and Peter's wedding cake in a snow-nami. We're going to St. Paul, which normally is about a 30 to 35 minute drive. Um, we're giving ourselves an hour and a half. It's all right. So you have to get underneath them, too. Whether or not her guests get there, we're going to get the cake there. And they're off. Should we sing Christmas carols? Yeah. <laughs> Here comes.
I'm oh sorry. Oh my god. Uh, when the roads are like this, you only get you gotta one. Back up. Yeah, they're backing up. That's what, yeah. We are not backing up with a cake in the car. Yeah, so Thank you. you. Super nut playing that game. Jenna just texted and um, Hennepin County has called off the road plows. Have you ever heard of that? I wonder if anyone's gonna be able to even get to the wedding. I know. Whether or not they have guests, the one thing I want them to have is a wedding cake. Right. <laughs> We're getting close. I mean, it's been an hour and a half since we left. We're a couple turns away. The loading dock is on the same street that we're on, which is right in front of us. Oh, 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 oh. Don't, just don't, oh. Are we stuck? Mm-hmm. Oh, 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 oh. Don't, just don't, oh. Are we stuck? Mm-hmm. We're taking Stephanie and Peter's cake to the Landmark Center. The roads are particularly bad today. They're actually officially calling this blizzard conditions today. Even though we're in the middle of a huge blizzard, I was determined to get this cake delivered. And after two hours of grueling driving, we got to the reception site with not a moment to spare. Just grab something and close the grab, latch. Like rose petals and close the hatch. And be really careful. Oh my god. It's Here, I'll get it. like suctioned closed. It <laughs> and it turns out that the ceremony is going on upstairs as we speak, and we have 15 minutes to get this cake together. Okay, further back? Yep, right about there, hold it. Yes. Can you hold it? Well, when we got here, we found out that the florist is here, but the linen rental company isn't here, so they don't have the branches that we based the cake on. The gold tablecloth that we based the cake color on is also not here. You need help? Yep, I just want to know if I'm centered. I need to rotate. They're operating on plain white linens and no centerpieces, um, so we want to at least make sure that they have a really awesome cake. Okay. How is it, Julia? Are we you look good. centered? Yeah. Okay. I got the back. Okay, I got the front. You know what? At the end of the day, they're going to be married. That's all that matters. Yeah, they're going to be Well, gonna... they're going to be married and they're going to have a kick-ass wedding cake. That's all that matters. <laughs> uh, we have, I think, about two minutes left. <laughs> Um, I'm hoping that their, their vows um, are long. Are long. <laughs> All that's left to do is to put um, some more of the rock candy on the ledges, which Julia is rocking out. And then this baby is going to be ready for the bride and groom. I'm really excited for them to see it. just canceled and then at around 11 30 they called and said church won't be plowed you can't have a wedding in your church but when it comes down to it if somebody orders a wedding cake from me and it's a blizzard if they can get to the ceremony recite there's going to be a cake there two Some thirds of our guests didn't, didn't get here but um the, there was a going to be a chocolate fountain the band didn't even make it we're using an ipod but the cake made it but through all of that <laughs> intact. We heard from the bride's mom that it was really important to the bride that um, that the cake made it because so many of the vendors hadn't made it. Her mom said that that's the bride said that that's what made it a wedding. That's that's the best compliment I've ever had. <laughs> I think that's fabulous. <laughs> 